It's the 18th ranked Fighting Irish of Notre Dame visiting the Falcons of the United States Air Force. This game comes to you from Falcon Stadium in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today's Fighting Irish football game is brought to you by Michelob Blight, an exceptional beer with a rich, smooth taste. By the football fans at Espar. By Presto to Anti Freeze. Deep inside, you can trust Presto. And by Kodak Film, Kodak, America's storyteller. Back at Falcon Stadium in beautiful Colorado Springs, Colorado. The toss of the coin just taking place at midfield. And Notre Dame for the third straight week has won the toss. They will receive. The Air Force Academy will kick off. Notre Dame coming into the game. 6-2-1, Air Force 6-4. and four. The broadcast cable cast rights to this game are granted by the University of Notre Dame to Metro Communications Incorporated. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without written consent is prohibited. The announcers on this telecast have been selected and paid by Metro Communications Incorporated in consultation with the University of Notre Dame. So the Air Force Academy Falcons, having already won the Commander-in-Chief Trophy, emblematic of supremacy among the service teams, they have defeated Navy, they have defeated Army, snapping a four-year streak of holding that trophy by Navy. There you see the series, the last game played here at Falcon Stadium, which Notre Dame won 35 to 7, although the game was far closer than that score would indicate. And they first met George in 1964. Been a good series. The weather's good today, 41 degrees, wind negligible. Field is in good condition. Notre Dame coming off two big games against Pitt and Penn State. Could be emotionally drained. Air Force, on the other hand, had a week off. After beating Army, they've won three in a row. They're six and, six and four in the season, and they feel they got a chance against the Fighting Irish today. Air Force will kick off. Number one is Carlos Mateos. Carlos Mateos, excuse me, is from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And Alan Pinkett in the middle, Chris Stone on the far side, Pat Ballage on the near side. And Mateos will try to keep it away from Alan Pinkett. He returned one last week, 94 yards against Penn State. Mateos to sophomore, both his dad and his brother, James. And here at Air Force Academy, local product from Colorado Springs. Air Force has one game rem remaining next week in Hawaii. And of course, for the Fighting Irish, next week it'll be the men of Troy at USC is blowing that ball off the tee. And so now the official is going to call for one of the Air Force players to act as the holder. And the holder will be Dewan Wilson. The officials have split crew this afternoon from the Western Athletic Contest of which Air Force is a member and from the Big Ten. Keel still hampered with a shoulder injury. Ken Karcher, the sophomore, will be a quarterback for Notre Dame. Sophomore from Glenshaw, Pennsylvania. Irish will line up with Larry Moriarty at fullback. Phil Carter, the tailback. Joe Howard wide left. Mike Haywood wide right on first and ten for their own 20-yard line. Karcher hands off. Carter, the ball carrier, brought down by Tom Stanberry, their leading tackler. Stanberry has 120 tackles this year, a junior from Grand Block, Michigan. There you see the offensive alignment for Notre Dame. Carter needs 69 yards to move into the number three spot on the all-time Irish rushing list, surpassing the legendary George Gibbs. Second down, 10, Notre Dame. 
defensive front for the Air Force Academy. This is Carter again, running up field past the 25 to the 28 yard line. He picked up eight yards on the play before he was stopped by Sean Smith, the junior from Guthrie, Oklahoma. There you see the Air Force down linemen. They are not big, but they are quick. The leading tackler of that bunch is Charlie Heath. He's an interesting story. Number 37, a junior from Houston, Texas, who last year was a running back or a second leading rusher. Yeah, he gained over 350 yards and scored five touchdowns rushing. A very versatile athlete. It's a third down and two call. Notre Dame. They have the ball at their own 28 yard line. Your hands off Carter. He's going to be close to the first down. Sean Smith made the tackle. Sean Smith, the second leading tackler for Air Force behind Tom Stanbury, both linebackers. And it evidently is just short of the first down. So Notre Dame will be forced to punt. Blair Keel to do the punting, averaging 42 yards per punt. Back in the safety for Air Force is Mike Kirby. Kirby averaging 9.4 yards per punt return. He's a good punt return. Blair Keel gets a driving boot away. Kirby back at the 24 yard line. Kirby up to the 25, 26, and there he is, swarmed under the 26 yard line. Brought down by Stacy Torn along with John Mosley. So it is first and ten for Air Force. They'll have their first possession at their own 26-yard line. Air Force uh, line will line up in the wishbone. They're averaging 318 yards per game out of the wishbone. They've already set a team rushing record, 3,180 yards. Their leading rusher is number 30, John Kirshner, and their second leading rusher, their quarterback, Marty Louthan, the junior from Eugene, Oregon. From the wishbone, first and 10 Air Force at their own 26-yard line. A reverse handoff up to the 30, 35, and dropped at the 36, close to a first down, goes Jody Simmons, the sophomore from San Antonio, Texas. Dave Dewar's in the tackle right around the 35-yard line. It is close to a first down. Notre Dame's defensive line, of course, Mike Gann suffered a knee injury. He had to undergo surgery this past week. Jerry Winley taking his place in the down four. Inside handoff. It's enough for the first down to the 37-yard line. Goes the fullback John Kirshner from Woodland, California. Kirshner coming into the game and picked up 899 yards. Second for a rushing per season. In Air Force Academy history, Brian Bream holds that mark, 1,276. Defensive secondary for Notre Dame. Mark Savagnin, the leading tackler, number 46, followed by Mike Larkin. First and 10 Air Force, they have the ball at their 38-yard line. Inside handoff, past the 40 to the 43-yard line. Goes John Kirshner. Brought down by Mark Savagnin and Mike Larkin at the 43-yard line. It's second down and five Air Force. Kirshner's having a great year, 899 yards on 186 carries, average 4.8 yards per carry. Lawson is their second leading ball carrier, the quarterback, 643 yards. Lawson brings him out from the wishbone, first, or rather, second and five at their own 43 yard line. Another inside handoff. Kirshner, first down to midfield. Kirshner picking up six on the play before he stopped by Bob Klasky. Running behind, running behind the blocking of the center, Smith. Dave Streck, the guard, probably the most versatile man on the team, number 79, 6'5", 260, a senior. They're not big in that offensive line, but they're very quick. Dennis Moore goes wide to the left from the wishbone. Wide to the right is Jeff Huff. On a first and ten from midfield. Inside handle on nothing there this time. Stopped by Griffith. Mark Zavag and Kevin Griffith both there. A pickup of two by Kirshner. It'll be second down and eight. There's the Falcon. The Air Force 
Morris right now is setting up uh, the quarterback option. They've been handing off to Kirshner and the fullback up the middle with the quarterback Lauthen faking, but he will keep it pretty soon and go to the outside. Reverse handoff, Jody Simmons. Jody Simmons first down to the Notre Dame 38 yard line before Dave Morrison finally brought him down. Another first down on the ground for Air Force. Good blocking again by Tony Reno, number 75, the offensive guard. Jeff Huff comes in with a play from the bench. They shuttle their wide receivers with plays from the bench. Ken Hatfield in his fourth year as head coach at Air Force Academy. Third in the nation in rushing Air Force behind only Nebraska and Oklahoma. It is first and ten Air Force at the Notre Dame 38-yard line. Louthen keeping this time. Got away from Larkin. Going deep. And this ball is nearly picked off brilliantly by Stacy Torrin. Great diving interception by Stacy Torn at the five yard line. Larkin almost gets Louthen. He throws the ball up for grabs. His man was open, but he threw he threw short. Watch Storen come in there and make a great interception. His second of the year. So Notre Dame will have it first and ten at their own five yard line. Howard wide to the left, Haywood wide to the right. Sophomore quarterback calls signals. Haywood coming in motion. This is Carter, and Carter is corralled for no gain on the play by Sean Smith, the linebacker. Second down and 10, Notre Dame at the five yard line. Sean Smith really penetrated on that play. Carter had blockers up front. He's a senior from Tacoma, Washington. But this is a very quick Air Force defense. Only averaging 206 pounds from end to end. It is second down and 10 Notre Dame at their own five yard line. Carter again. Carter finds some room this time. Up to the 20, still on his feet. Dropped at the 24 yard line. First down Notre Dame. Finally tackled by Dewan Wilson, the freshman from Wynn, Arkansas. From the defense, watch Carter pick his hole. There comes Moriarty, got a good, good lot, block on the linebacker. Carter reads the blocking up front, slips to the outside, slips a tackle by Zollinger. Carter now only needs 40 yards to go ahead of George Gift. First play. First and 10, Notre Dame flags all over the field. Moriarty is at a gaping hole, but Notre Dame jumped off. It'll be a procedure penalty against Notre Dame, it appears. Illegal procedure, Notre Dame will move the ball back to the 20-yard line where it'll be first down and 15. Nothing, nothing. We have 9.34 to play first quarter. George, as you said at the opening of the show, it appears that Notre Dame is definitely going to try to keep the ball on the ground. Well, Karcher only completing 42.4% of his passes, has not had any intercepted. But uh, he really doesn't have the confidence in throwing, so for the moment, they'll stay on the ground. First down, 15, Notre Dame at their own 20-yard line. Howard wide right, Haywood wide left. Moriarty and Carter the running backs. Moriarty inside handoff. It's about two or three yards. He's brought down by Chris Funk, the sophomore defensive tackle from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Moriarty picking up a couple of yards. It'll be second down and 13. Notre Dame at their own 22-yard line. Archer worked out all week with the first team. Blair Keel being hurt, he should have more confidence today than he had last week against Penn State. Backs are now split, which oftentimes means a passing situation for Notre Dame with the split backs. Carter and Moriarty, it is. Archer back to throw. Right up the middle, he's got his man, Hunter. Hunter to the 30, fights his way to the 35, fumbles the football, and Air Force is recovered. Carl DeJanay making the tackle, and Air Force has recovered the fumble. Oh, Tony Hunter. This was a double check down and a delay by Tony Hunter, the big tight end. Watch the way he's carrying that ball very loosely. He changes hands, and the ball pops out. Carl Jadene from Mendel Catholic in Chicago recovers the fumble for the cadet, for the uh, Falcon. So it is first and 10 Air Force at the Notre Dame 35 yard line. 
8.34 left to play in the first quarter. Notre Dame nothing and Air Force nothing. There's the turnovers. One on Notre Dame, none for the Air Force. Now the Air Force has one. Stacy Torn intercepted the pass, which stopped the Air Force drive. It was interesting that Air Force went for a pass after they had picked up first down after first down rushing. Well, sometimes uh, you have to pass to run, but uh, why give up the ground gain when it's uh, working? There's a puddle on the on the sidelines. With the score, Notre Dame nothing, Air Force nothing. We'll be back in a moment. The Notre Dame 35-yard line. Flags down on the play before it developed. Marty Laufen faking to his fullback John Kirshner kept the ball, but there are markers down the play, and a penalty will be called against Air Force. We'll move it back five yards, making it first and 15 from the Notre Dame 40. Dennis Moore comes in with a play from the bench. Mike Kirby going out for Air Force. And the head coach, Ken Hatfield of the Falcons, calls all the plays himself. It's a delay of game penalty. Hatfield's in his fourth year here at the Air Force Academy. He's six and four on the year, 15, 28, and one for his career. He was an All-American at Arkansas. Pitch back, running wide is Simmons, and he's in trouble. And Dave Dewars and right there to drop him at the line of scrimmage. Jody Simmons, the sophomore halfback, brought down by Dave Dewars and no gate on the play at second down and 15. And coming, coming in from the inside was Mike Larkin, probably one of the fastest linebackers playing collegiate football as we look at a worried head coach Jerry Faust. Jerry's been concerned all week. This Air Force team is probably the best team they've had here in years. They are six and four with wins over Brigham Young, Navy, Wyoming, Army, San Diego State. Second down. Lautham the quick pass in and out of the grasp of his intended receiver. And it's third down and 15. It was intended for Dennis Moore, the senior wide out from Irving, Texas. There's Ken Hatfield sending in the messenger with the play. Jeff Huff, a junior from Milford, Michigan, coming in as a wide receiver. It is third down and 15. Marty Laufen, junior quarterback. Fumbles the snap. Now he's going to keep. Runs away from two men. Gets inside the 30, 25, 15. Gets a block and he slips and falls at the nine yard line or he might have gone. Marty Lawson. Excellent running. The 6 190 pound junior from Oregon. Lawson is almost trapped back there. It was a blitz. Joe Johnson got in there. There he runs by Zavagnan. Got by Torn, but he's finally tripped up. Well, it is first down and goal to go. Air Force just inside their 10-yard line. From the wishbone, Marty Laufen. Pitches back. This is Simmons inside the five to about the four-yard line. Knocked out by Dave Dewerson. Jody Simmons. Averaging 6.5 per carry. Sophomore from San Antonio gets the ball down to the four where it's second down and goal. One of the big improvements on the Falcon offense this year is the ball handling of the quarterback, Marty, Marty Lauthan. He played split end for a while last year. Then he came in and played quarterback. They won three out of their last five games. In the wishbone, the quarterback hangs onto the ball as long as he can. Then he makes the pitch to the outside. It's all optional. Ball is spotted at the two-yard line. Lauthan, touchdown, Air Force Academy. Marty Lauthan, the junior quarterback, with his sixth touchdown run of the year. Rather, his tenth touchdown run of the year. Marty Lauthan. That's awesome from behind the offense. See the way he fakes the Kirchner. Now he's got the option to pitch out to Brown. He cuts in with a good sharp cut, gets by Torrin, and into the end zone for six. He has rushed for ten touchdowns, passed for five more, and Air Force takes a six to nothing lead with 7-14 left to play here in the first quarter. Sean Pavlich will attempt the conversion. Eric Brown, the snapper. Delay of game penalty against the Air Force. Going to move the ball back. Flag on the play. Flag 
So Pavlich will attempt it from five yards back. During the holding for Air Force, Greg Zallinger. Zallinger to hold, Pavlich to attempt the conversion as Air Force has stunned Notre Dame with an early touchdown. Kick is certainly long enough and right between the uprights. The extra point is good. With the score, Air Force 7, Notre Dame nothing. We'll be back in a moment. There's a scoring drive, five plays, 40 yards after a fumble recovery by Carl Jedenay on a Tony Hunter fumble after a pass reception. Lawton, two yard run. The Air Force Falcon looking on with the Academy ahead seven to nothing. Carlos Mateos will kick off. And the deep men for Notre Dame will be Alan Pinkett in the middle, Pat Ballage on the near side, and on the far side, Chris Stone. On the opening kickoff, Mateo scooted it way out of the end zone. Kicked it about seven yards out of the end zone. Of course, he has a little wind with him, about five miles an hour, but that's an awfully strong boot. Well, the Air Force Academy has taken a 7 to nothing lead here on Notre Dame, thanks to the strong running of quarterback Marty Lauthan. Mateus only 5'6", 153 pounds. You wonder where he gets all that power. He gets all 153 into the football. This one heading toward Pinkett deep in the end zone. He'll not run it out. So Notre Dame will have it first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Another good kickoff by Carlos Mateos. Well, Notre Dame finding themselves behind 7-0. A worried Jerry Faust at the sidelines. Well, Jerry Faust has been worried all week. As we mentioned, two big emotional games against Pitt and Penn State, and Notre Dame looks a little bit flat out there. Joe Howard wide right, Mike Haywood wide left. On a first and 10 from the 20-yard line, Ken Karcher calls signals. This is Pinkett. Pinkett over the 25 to about the 28-yard line goes Alan Pinkett before he's stopped by Greg Zollinger. Pinkett, who's picked up 424 yards, averaging 5.1 per carry, has also scored five touchdowns. And he's got such quick, uh, great uh, quickness. If you don't get him at the line of scrimmage and he's through, then you got to watch out. Second down and two, Notre Dame. They have the ball at their own 28-yard line. Moriarty and Pinkett, the running backs behind Ken Karcher. He gets the first down as he pulls his way over the 30 to about the 32-yard line. Stopped by Greg Zollinger and Chris Funk. On his first and 10 Notre Dame at their own 32-yard line. Moriarty averaging 5.7 yards per carry. He has scored four touchdowns. 7-0 Air Force, 6.33 left to play in the first quarter. Wideouts are wide to the same side of the left side, Howard and Haywood. On a first and ten from the 32, they send Haywood in motion. And off Moriarty. He is really stopped up after a gain of one yard. Brought down by Sean Smith, the linebacker from Guthrie, Oklahoma. Pick up a one by Moriarty. It'll be second down and nine. Air Force Academy over shifting to the Notre Dame tight end side, the strong side of the field, under shifting their linebackers are ready for that last offensive play. Second down and nine Notre Dame. They have the ball at their own 33 yard line. Haywood coming in motion. Archer back to pass. He's going to be sacked. He's dropped back at the 23 yard line. Sacked by Don back a senior from Whitefield, Colorado. Yeah, the blitz is on. Watch the linebackers come in. There they come in. Stanbury, 24 from the outside. Juan Wilson, he gets them. They just didn't have enough blockers. A loss back to the 23-yard line of 10. It's third down of 19. Blitzing Don Smith, the Falcon back. He was out last year. 
It is a third down, 19 facing Ken Karcher. And off to Pinkett. Pinkett gets by a couple of men. Can't elude another as he is dropped at the 30-yard line by Dewan Wilson, the freshman from Wynn, Arkansas. And Notre Dame again will be forced to punt. Notre Dame deciding not to pass. That's the running draw. Pinkett trying to get the outside. There you see the first man he comes to. 24, Dwan Wilson hits him low and brings him to the turf. Blair Keel to punt, Mike Kirby deep for Air Force. 7 0, Air Force Academy. 4 29 left to play, first quarter. Low snap, but Keel has it. Gets the boot away. Fair catch called and made by Kirby at the 29 yard line, where it'll be first and 10 Air Force at their own 29 yard line. With the score, Air Force 7, Notre Dame nothing. We'll be back in a moment. Up first and 10, Air Force. They have the ball at their own 29-yard line. Louthen, hand off to Simmons, trying to get outside. Simmons follows a block, gets up over the 30 to about the 33-yard line. A pickup of four before he was ridden down by Mark Savagnin. That's a little misdirection play. They show motion or movement to the left, and then they pull the left guard, Tony Reno, out to the right. Moved by Jerry Faust. How prophetic he was. It is second down and six Air Force. They have the ball at their own 34-yard line. Marty Louthen, junior quarterback from Eugene, Oregon. Hand off, and this could be a halfback pass downfield. Got his man, Huff. He's stopped by Stacy Torrid at the 31-yard line. Vaughn Cameron. They have two quarterbacks in there. Vaughn Cameron did the passing. There. He handed off to Vaughn Cameron. Hits it deep. That's Jeff Huff, the wide receiver. They surprised Notre Dame. Did not know that the extra quarterback came in there as a halfback and took the handoff from Marty Lawson. So a big game for the Air Force Academy. On a pass from Vaughn Cameron after the handoff from Louthen to Jeff Huff, and it's first and 10 Air Force at the Notre Dame 31-yard line. Inside handoff, Kirshner. He gets two, and then he's sent backwards by Mark Savagnin. John Kirshner, junior, 190-pounder from Woodland, California. Picked up about three on the play. It's second down and seven. Air Force leading 7 0, 257 left to play, first quarter. Mike Brown checks in. He's an excellent runner, 509 yards, but he's also the second leading pass receiver with 11 receptions. He's averaging 7.7 yards per carry. He's a scat back, 5'9, 165 pounder, number three. Louthen on the option play, going to keep Louthen down to the 21 yard line, brought down by Mark Savagan, but. He's close to a first down near the 21-yard line. There's the center Smith. With Autry. And he gets to the outside. Lothan handles that ball very well. He's got it by both hands. He makes his moves, and when he's going to get hit, he tucks it away. Ricard Smith, the center, the senior from Enid, Oklahoma, really the key blocker in this wishbone offense. 6'4", 230-pounder, and he's a good one. He makes it Lederman. all go. Ken Hatfield really moves his players around. Ricard Smith, the center, lettered at tight end. Marty Louthen was a wide receiver. Defensive end, Charlie Heath was an offensive back. He just changes the players and puts them in the position that he needs them. Third down, a half a yard to go for a first down. The Notre Dame 21-yard line. There's Louthen's rushing stats. He scored the Air Force touchdown. Louthen hands off Kirshner. First down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Kevin Griffith the tackle at the 18. John Kirshner picking up the first down. It's first and 10 Air Force at the Notre Dame 18-yard line. Jody Simmons comes back into the halfback spot, and Mike Brown goes out for Air Force. There's Simmons, 5'11", 180-pound sophomore from San Antonio, Texas. 
First and ten, Air Force at the Notre Dame 18 yard line. Inside handoff to Kirshner. He gets a couple, and that's about all. He's stacked up by John Autry yet on the bottom of the pile. Spotted at the 15 yard line. Give him three on the carry. It'll be second down and seven. Kirshner, the ball carrier, is 5'10, 190, and he really runs low to the ground. He doesn't try to fool anybody. He takes that ball from Laufen, the quarterback, and covers it up and runs right up the middle. Mike Brown back into the halfback spot going out as Jody Simmons on a second down and seven call for Air Force. Option play pitches back to Brown. He picks it up off the ground and gets inside the 15 down to the 12 before he's ridden down by Zavagna. Lawton was really hit when he pitched it. And the Air Force got a lucky bounce there. It bounced right up into the hands of Mike Brown, the scat back. 5'9", 160 pounds. Now it is a third down and three call for Air Force. They have the ball at the 12-yard line of Notre Dame, just inside the 12. Air Force leading 7-0, a minute 16 to play first quarter. Hardy Louthen. Hands off to Brown. Brown gets to the 10, and that's all. He'll be short of the first down. The hold closed quickly by Mark Savagan. And I will see if Ken Hatfield will opt for the field goal throw. Fourth from, uh, down. From behind the offense, you see Kirshner go to the left. The right halfback go to the left. The pulling guard, number 75, Reno. And Brodzinski gets a hand on him, and then Zavagnin cleans up short of the first down. John Pavlich is coming in to. Well, he's lining up at a tight end. They're going to go for it on a quick count. Louthen pitches back. Brown didn't make it on a fine defensive play by Joe Johnson. A little trickery here on the Air Force Academy. He fakes to Kirshner. There comes Brown trailing him. Watch Johnson with that good speed get to the outside, and he throws a body block into him and stops him short on fourth down. So Air Force has chewed going for the three, even though they brought in Sean Pavlich, kind of a smoke screen bringing him in. They lined him up at tight end, their place kicker, and tried to get sneak a first down on Notre Dame. They did not, thanks to the alert play of Joe Johnson. First and ten, Notre Dame at their ten-yard line. Inside handoff to Pinkett. He's up over the 15 to around the 18-yard line before he's stopped by Don Smith. Alan Pinkett, freshman from Sterling, Virginia. Pinkett ran right out of his shoe. There's a key block by Fisher on the middle guard, Steve Kelly. Pinkett with a little bit of running room. Tackled by Stanbury. It is second down and two Notre Dame at their own 18-yard line. Mark Brooks is in a fullback now with Phil Carter behind him at the tailback spot. Brooks gets a handoff. Brooks in trouble. Brooks fights his way for a first down to the 21-yard line. A good effort by the sophomore Mark Brooks. Stopped by Charlie Heath and Don Smith. Mark Brooks did that all on his own. The misdirection play. He went up to the line. It was uh, all blocked up, but he kept spinning and churning and kept his legs driving and got enough yardage for the first down. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. Air Force 7, Notre Dame nothing. We'll be back in a moment. Quarter seven nothing. Marty Lauthen scoring the touchdown. The Air Force Academy Notre Dame will have it first and ten at their own 21 yard line. First period, uh, Ken Karcher only threw one pass. That was to Tony Hunter. It was completed, but he fumbled and Jed Jed Dune recovered, and that led to Marty Lauthen's two yard touchdown run. Mike Shiner is coming in an offensive tackle for Notre Dame, replacing Mike Kelly. First and ten, Notre Dame just past their own 21-yard line. Bill Jackson is in at a wide out. He's wide to the right, wide to the left is Mike Haywood. Karcher a long count. Karcher quick out to Haywood. Haywood up to the 30 and knocked out of bounds close to a first down at around the 31-yard line. Brought down by Don Smith. It'll be short of the first down by a couple. A pick up of eight on the quick out to Mike Haywood, the freshman from Houston. Ron Hudson, the 
quarterback coach and receiver coach sending that play and noted that the cornerbacks for the Air Force are giving the wide receivers in Notre Dame a lot of yardage 10 to 15 yards on their coverage. Second down and one Notre Dame they have the ball at their own 30 yard line. Archer back to pass going for the bundle to Haywood and it's incomplete. He was well covered on the play. Back of the 20 yard line. Well covered by Dewan Wilson. Trying to pick on the freshman, Dewan Wilson. Good ball there, and sometimes although that long pass is not complete, it loosens up the secondary. So it's a third down and one call for Karcher. He has the ball at his own 30-yard line. Mark Brooks and Alan Pink at the running backs behind Karcher on a third and one. Pitch back. Goes to Pinkett. Pinkett's not going to get the first down. Brought down by Carl DeJanay, the junior from Chicago, Illinois. At the 30-yard line, it's fourth down. Air Force reacting to that quick pitch out to Pinkett. He's running behind Brooks. Watch the Air Force. Jed today strings him out and makes the tackle. He tried that wide play on short yardage against Penn State, and it failed there also. So Notre Dame again will be forced to punt. Blair Keelan to punt. Mike Kirby in solo safety for Air Force Academy. Air Force leading 7 0, 14 12 to play first half. Kevin Kelly to snap. Keel gets a high, long boot away. Kirby all the way back to the 14. Reverses field nicely and gets up to the 28 before he's locked down. But a good return by Kirby. He's finally brought down by John Mosley along with Joe Johnson. And Joe Johnson is down on the field. Next week, the Fighting Irish head for Los Angeles and the renewal of one of college football's greatest rivalries. Their opponent, the Trojans of the University of Southern California. Notre Dame will try to snap a string of four straight losses to USC. It goes back to 1978. Notre Dame and USC next week on ESPN. Ball will be at the Air Force Academy 29-yard line. First and 10 when players resume Joe Johnson down on the field. Like to thank Godfather's pizza. Plus, a return by Kirby. Gets away from Mosley. Makes his cut. There, Ballage gets a shot at him. There's 27 Murphy. And uh, Johnson makes a saving tackle, but he's down on the ground. So, Air Force leading 7 to nothing. 13 55. Left to play in the first half. Cadets of the Air Force Academy. In the fourth quarter, Clemson I'm very proud of their team this year, and justifiably so. Air Force six and four. Rod Bone will come in to replace Joe Johnson at the freeze, or rather at the strong safety. Air Force first and 10 at their own 29 yard line. Air Force 7, Notre Dame nothing. We have 13.55 left to play here in the second quarter. Marty Louthan, junior quarterback from the wishbone. Louthan inside handoff, nothing there. A pickup of about a yard. Bob Claspy in on the bottom of the pile. Sunquist on a carry. Sunquist, the ball carrier. Game Ted Sunquist, junior fullback, six foot, 201 pounder out of Houston, Texas. Had knee surgery last year, did not play. Notre Dame defensive line adjusting to the wishbone Autry and Plasby that time using their hands well on the offensive blockers reading the play and then going to the ball carrier pick up of a couple by Sunquist it'll be second down and eight Air Force they have the ball at their own 31 yard line inside handoff Sunquist gets up to around the 38 yard line close to a first down before Mark Zemagdan rides him down eight of eight Let's watch watch the linebackers. Watch Larkin. He goes up. He gets blocked to the outside, but Savagnin comes in from his middle linebacker spot and makes the tackle just short of the first down. Third down, about a half a yard to go for the first down. 
Air Force 7, Notre Dame nothing. 12.56 left to play here in the second quarter. Lauthen brings him out. Sunquist has the first down over the 40 to the 41 yard line. Mark Savagan again in on the tackle. Savagan has made 16 tackles in each of the last two games against Pitt and Penn State. Also making a ton of them here this afternoon. At the half. But a first down for Air Force at their own 41 yard line. Dennis Moore and Mike Kirby come in with a play from the bench. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. Louthen on the option play, going to keep and is going to get about a yard, and that's all. Mike Larkin in on the bottom of the pile at the 42 yard line. Louthen, handled by Larkin. Came out of the play of about one yard. It's second down and nine. Air Force, they have the ball at their own 42 yard line. Air Force 7, Notre Dame nothing. 12 minutes left to play here in the second quarter. The Air Force offensive line takes unusually wide splits between their guards, guard and center, and guard and tackle. They spread the defensive line out. Second down, nine Air Force. Louthen back to pass. Shoots a pass. It's caught at the 45 yard line. First down, Air Force. To Mike Kirby, the wide receiver, the junior from Miami, Florida, stopped by Stacy Torn, but a first down at the Notre Dame 44. Kirby's the favorite receiver, caught 24 in going, going into today's game for four touchdowns. Averages 21.4 yards per catch. They say the wishbone is not a good passing offense, but Ken Hatfield, the Falcon coach, thinks differently. They negate the line with the play action pass. And then the quarterback goes back and hits his receiver. First and ten Air Force. Handoff goes to Foster running wide and he gets nowhere as Mark Savagnin again was right there to make the hit. Foster. Derek Foster the junior. Halfback from Waterford okay. Connecticut. Picking up about well nothing It's second down and ten. The ball still at the Notre Dame 44 yard line. Wisconsin three Minnesota zero. Rod Bone has come out of the Notre Dame lineup. And to replace him is Dane Spielmaker. Second down and 10 Air Force. Spielmaker showing blitz. He does, but he's picked up. Louthen carrying for his life is thrown for a yard loss on the play. Lawson Brought down by, Larkin. by Mike Larkin. By Good Larkin. quick reaction by Mike Larkin. In the first period. Shaking up a little Colorado bit, the sophomore zero. from Cincinnati, Moeller High. Larkin comes out, and Tony Ferjanic, the freshman the from Chicago, quarter. Illinois, replacing him. The ball at the 45-yard line, third down, 11 Air Force. At the Notre Dame 45, Kirby comes wide to the right. Louthen, the quick pass is deflected and intercepted by Dave Dewerson at the 29-yard line. It was deflected up in the air and an easy intercept for Dave Dewerson. The Falcons were in practically a double wing there. Louthen did not drop back. Not even a good play action fake to Kirshner, his fullback. And there's Clasby, 6-5, all 6-5 of them, makes the tip and Dewerson his sixth interception of the year. So it's first and 10 Notre Dame at their own 29. The Irish have not been able to sustain a drive at all. Trailing 7-0. 9.56 left to play here in the second quarter. Archer with Brooks and Pinkett behind him. This is Pinkett. Pinkett going to the outside. Pinkett to the 40-yard line. Runs out of bounds of the 42. It's a first down Notre Dame. Pinkett picking up 13. The freshman from Sterling, Virginia. Running behind Mark Brooks. There's uh, Neil Monty making a good block on the outside. The way, see the way he slips to the tackle, runs diagonally down to the sidelines, tries to make a move on the freshman, number 24, Dwan Wilson, but he forces him out of bounds after making the first down. First and 10, Notre Dame with their own 42. Pick it again. Pick it corral this time. Picked up about two, and that's about all. Chris Funk getting up off the bottom of the pile, the sophomore defensive tackle from Fayetteville, North Carolina. A gain of two, it'll be second down and eight. 
Mike Kelly comes back in offensively to tackle spot. Mike Shiner coming out for Notre Dame. What a year Pinkett's had. Six TDs. Five of them rushing and one of them the kickoff return last week against Penn State. And off to Pinkett again. Nothing there. He stopped for no gain on the play by Steve Kelly, the junior nose guard from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Pinkett might have uh, read the wrong blocking up front. Tony Hunter with a tight end on the left side, and he blocked the defensive left end, Charlie Heath, way over the middle of the, almost to the center position, and Pinkett ran right into him. It is third down and eight, Notre Dame at their own 44-yard line. The backs are split. Howard wide to the left, Haywood wide to the right. Seven nothing Air Force. Archer back to pass, looks up field, fires up the middle, picked off at the 45, to the 40, to the 30, all the way down to the 16-yard line. First down, Air Force. Mark Fisher made the tackle, but a costly interception for Notre Dame. That's what Archer throw that. He doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. Zollinger comes up right in front of Tony Hunter, the receiver. Makes a good return before Brooks tries to get him. And he's brought down. Greg Zollinger with his third interception of the year. The junior from San Antonio, Texas, has put Air Force in great field position. First and 10 at the Notre Dame 16-yard line. Artie Louthan brings him out. Louthan on the option. Louthan pitches back. Heading toward the end zone is Jody Simmons knocked out inside the five-yard line. Knocked down by Dane Spielmaker, but not before he got inside the five. It's first and goal Air Force. Lawson makes a good pitch out to the outside to Simmons. He's got good speed. He gets around Spielmaker before he throws him out of bounds. But it's first and goal to go on the three-yard line. And Simmons takes a rest on the bench. Mike Brown comes in to replace him for Air Force. Ball at the three-yard line. First down and goal to go. Air Force leading 7-0. Threatening to go further ahead as Marty Lawson calls the signal. Louthan on the option, pitch back to Brown, knocked out of bounds at about the one. Mike Brown knocked out by Stacy Torrin. He did not get in. And it'll be second down and goal to go. Louthan, the quarterback, is just a great ball handler. He, that's the secret of the wishbone, the quarterback ball handling. And he handles that ball very well. He gets it out in front of him with both hands. And then he waits to the last minute to either tuck it away and run or pitch it to the outside if his outside man is open. Spotted at the two-yard line. We're at second down and goal to go, Air Force. Jody Simmons back into the running back. Inside handoff. No, a fake handoff. And Lauthan did not. Yes, he did get in. Louthan touchdown Air Force Academy. Fake the handoff to Kirshner and just got into the end zone. Well, Louthan with good uh, leg drive got by Joe Radzinski, the linebacker, the right linebacker, and with determination and drive, he got into the end zone for a second touchdown. That is his 11th rushing touchdown of the year. He's also passed for five. 13 nothing Air Force. 8.08 left to play. Conversion attempt by Sean Pavlich. And in the second quarter, the ball is spotted. The boot is up, and it is good. And the Air Force Academy, the Falcons, stunning Notre Dame with the score. Air Force 14, Notre Dame nothing. We'll be back in a moment. You Irish being shocked here at Falcon Stadium in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Air Force, a 14 to nothing lead. We have 8.08 left to play here in the first half. Carlos Mateos will kick off. And the deep men pink it in the middle. Stone on the near side, Ballage on the far side for Notre Dame. Larry, at the top of the show, we said that Notre Dame was coming off two highly emotional games against Pitt and Penn State. Air Force had a week off, two weeks to prepare for this game with Notre Dame. 
They got three wins in a row. They're six and four, and their first chance to beat the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, and they're sky high. They are high in the series. Notre Dame has won all 11, but Air Force leading this one 14 nothing. Notre Dame's bowl hopes might hinge on this one. Coming all the way down to Pinkett at the two-yard line on a scribble. Pinkett back up the middle of the 20. And he's wrestled down at the 22-yard line, where it's first and 10 Notre Dame at the 122. Brought down by Tom Stanberry. So Notre Dame will have it first and 10 at their own 23-yard line, trailing 14-0. Jim O'Hara is going to come in at quarterback, the senior walk-on from Cypress, California. So it is O'Hara at quarterback, replacing Ken Karcher. O'Hara was in last week. Only completed one pass and four attempts. Moriarty and Carter, the running backs behind Jim O'Hara on first and ten at their own 23 yard line. Hand off to Carter, and Carter really is stacked up after a game of about one. Honda Sullivan, the defensive tackle senior from Queen Creek, Arizona, making the tackle. Air Force Academy defense reading run all the way. They had their linebackers up in there, Sean Smith and Tom Stanbury. And they were feel fooled by the fake of the play action pass. 7.38 left to play first half. Air Force leading Notre Dame. 14-0. Jim O'Hara, senior quarterback. As Haywood wide to the left, Joe Howard wide to the right. Again to Carter. Carter fights his way over the 30 to about the 32 yard line. He'll be about a yard shy of the first down. Carter runs right through the tackle of Chris Funk. Running behind Moriarty there. There's a block by Moriarty. Watch Funk here. Gets a hand on him. Gets away from a block. But Carter eludes him. So Zollinger makes the hit along with Heath. So it's a third down and one call for Notre Dame. They have the ball at their own 32 yard line. 38 yards and seven carries. He's 31 more to pass George Gipp. Carter gets the call first down over the 35 to the 37 yard line where Tom Stanbury, the leading tackler for the Air Force Academy, makes the stop. Ball at the 37 yard line at his first and 10 Notre Dame. Irish trailing 14 to nothing. Six and a half minutes left to play here in the second quarter. Comes wide left, Haywood wide right. O'Hare on a handoff to Carter, and he is thrown down by Steve Rafferty, the sophomore from Tucson, Arizona, for a big loss back at the 33 yard line. Well, they send Moriarty to the left, they are pulling to the right, but Rafferty didn't go for any of the fakes. First play on defense makes a good behind the line tackle. They are in the fire lane. License number DR. All back at the 33 yard line, a loss of four at second down. 14 Notre Dame at their own 33. 545 left to play, first half. Haywood in motion. And off again to Carter. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage, a pick up of four. He's tripped up by Sean Smith, so it'll bring up a third down and ten. Sean Smith, the linebacker, inside linebacker, was covering his hole well. He got across the line of scrimmage and tripped him up. The down lineman for the Air Force Academy play much like the Dallas Cowboys. They're on all fours, but their two hands are, and two feet are parallel with each other. They use their hands well. Dead ball, They'll delay the a game, offense. That ball delay of game penalty called against Notre Dame. So it will be a second down now and about 19 to go for the first down. Back at their own 29-yard line. Jim O'Hara, senior walk-on quarterback, has replaced Ken Carter in this series. On a second down and 19, O'Hara back to try his first pass. Has great protection. Gets it away, and it's batted down. He wanted to get 
Phil Carter. Carter was covered by Sean Smith. It was batted down by Charlie Heath. O'Hara got excellent protection. Broken up by Heath. But it's batted down. It's third down 19. That shows you the versatility of this Falcon team. Last year, Charlie Heath, an offensive halfback, now playing defensive end, but he plays it more like a linebacker. Third down conversion, Notre Dame 0 for 6. Air Force 3 for 4. It is a third down and very long for Jim O'Hara. 19 yards, calls a draw play, and Phil Carter has some running room, but will never make the first down. He gets up to around the 40-yard line. Short of the first down, it brings out a fourth down in a punting situation. Greg Zollinger making the tackle to junior safety from San Antonio, Texas. Mike Kirby back in solo safety to receive the punt of Blair Keel. Keel is in the punt. 14 nothing Air Force, 4.46 left to play in the first half. Keel gets it away. Kirby back at the 18-yard line has some running room and gets up to the 29, and there he's brought down hard by Kevin Kelly. So it'll be first and 10 for Air Force. With the score, Air Force 14, no third and nothing. We'll be back in a moment. First and 10, Air Force Academy. They have the ball at their own 28-yard line. Air Force leading Notre Dame 14-0, 4.30. Left to play here in the second quarter. Louthen, inside handoff, not much there. A pickup of a couple of yards. John Kirshner, the ball carrier, stopped by Mike Larkin. After a pickup of a couple of yards, it'll be second down and eight Air Force. They have the ball at their own 30. Mike Brown coming in offensively, going on Jody Simmons for Air Force. So the running backs will be Brown, Kirshner, and Derek Foster behind Marty Laufen. Second down and eight Air Force at their own 30-yard line. Laufen on the option, pitches back to Brown. Fine defensive play by Notre Dame's Chris Brown, who went over a blocker, Derek Foster, and made a good tackle. Slowed up the play. Chris Brown, the junior from Owensboro, Kentucky, has had a fine year in the Irish secondary. Yes, he has, and along with Kevin Griffith, who was on the defensive left end there, he, he took the run away from Marty Laufen, the quarterback, and he pitched to the outside with Brown making a sensational play. It is a third down and seven call for Laufen as Jody Simmons comes back in and Mike Brown goes out. Notre Dame uh, really doesn't have to worry about the tight ends of uh, the Air Force. They have not thrown a pass to them. Laufen is back to pass. Looking, he's got his man. A fine catch by Kirby at the 40. Kirby had to come back and get it and made a great catch. And he came back between two Notre Dame defenders, Spielmaker and Torin. Laufen not dropping back uh, very far, but he throws it right in there. A little wobbler. But Kirby came back to the ball, and that's a sign of a good receiver. Kirby's second catch of the afternoon is 26th of the year. It is first and 10 Air Force at their own 43-yard line. Air Force 14, Notre Dame nothing. 2.53 to play, first half. Louthen back to pass, being rushed. He is sacked by Claspie. The ball is loose, but it's ruled an incompleted pass. Watch this pass rush on Notre Dame. Watch 71. That's Eric Dorsey. Eric Dorsey comes in from behind. There's the Vagnon in there. Bango, the arm. Was it going forward or not? The referee said it was. Incomplete pass. Was well, Dorsey on the sack? Not Claspy, the freshman out of McLean, Virginia. He was shaken up on the play. And Dorsey will come off the field. A second down and 10 for Air Force at their own 43-yard line. Marty Laufen talking it over with his head coach, Ken Hatfield. Well, last year uh, at the Air Force Stadium, Falcon Stadium, Notre Dame beat the Air Force 35 to 7, but it was 14 to 7 with eight minutes to go in the game, and Notre Dame held the Air Force on their own 38-yard line, Notre Dame's 38-yard line. Notre Dame went on to put three touchdowns on the board and win 35 to 7. It was an awfully close game. 
Air Force this year eighth in total offense in the country 12th in scoring offense and their third in rushing offense. It is a second down of 10 call for Laupin. Laupin on the option keeps has some room Larkin gets him at the 49 but Laupin picking up on the play around five yards. Laupin on the carry. Tackled by Larkin and Clancy. Ball at the 49-yard line where it'll be third Eight down and about four. Laufen is the key to that offense, the quarterback, and Ken Hatfield, the coach, said that he uses the wishbone because his linemen aren't too big, his backs have a lot of speed, and he figures that he can control the ball and control the defense by running the wishbone. Notre Dame has moved Bob Claspy inside to a tackle spot, and there he was. Claspy moving inside to a tackle spot and bringing in Mike Golick at a defensive end and Claspy made the hit preventing a first down and a big hit by Bob Claspy the 259 pound senior. Stop by Claspy, gate of one. So Notre Dame down Connect four now with Claspy playing inside. Gale and Golick and Griffith the defensive end as it's fourth down and Air Force will bring their putting team in back in solo safety for Notre Dame is Dave Dewerson. Air Force using as much time as they can here with just a minute 28 left to play in the first half and they'll get a delay of game penalty and they'll take that five yards just to use up a lot of the clock. Jeff Kubiak their punter from Green Bay Wisconsin has averaged 43.1 yards per punt. This is his first punt of the game. He's punted 35 times and only had 12 punts returned. He is an outstanding student here at Air Force, carrying a 3.76 grade point average in international affairs. Number 39, Jeff Kubiak. Good snap. Kubiak, the high punt. Yes, he does punt it high. Dewerson it takes an Air Force bounce and is down at the four yard line. Oh, not going to be end zone. It'll be a touchback, and Notre Dame will have it first and ten at their own 20. They had a chance to down at the four, but batted it into the end zone. With the score, Air Force 14, Notre Dame nothing. We'll be back in a moment. What you doing, Grandpa? Force leading 14 nothing a minute 18 to play here in the first half Jim O'Hara the senior quarterback calling signals for Notre Dame head off on a draw play to Moriarty all kinds of running room and Moriarty all the way up to the 42 yard line before he's brought down Notre Dame crossing up the Falcons expecting a pass there's the running draw play he gets in, in, in his spot there good block by Larry Williams Moriarty with good quick speed blocked by Carter he gets tripped up Makes the first down. Notre Dame without a huddle. First and 10 from their own 42-yard line. O'Hara back to pass. Carter wide open up the middle. This pass is knocked down. Knocked down by Charlie Heath, the junior defensive end. Charlie Heath is only 6'1", 215, but he's an all-around athlete, and that's the O'Hara second flat pass he's blocked down today. Pass. It is second down and 10 Notre Dame. They have the ball at their own 41 yard line. Howard goes wide to the left. Haywood wide to the right. Running backs are Carter and Moriarty behind Jim O'Hara. O'Hara back to pass. Looks up field. That's a short pass away. It's caught by Hunter. And he's locked down at the 49 yard line short of the first down. Brought down by Chris Funk. Hunter catching his 34th pass of the year, but it's shy of the first down by three. It'll be third down and three. Notre Dame calling a timeout to stop the clock with 46 seconds left in the first half. Metro Sports takes great pleasure in bringing you live on Christmas night from Honolulu, Hawaii, Saturday, December 25th, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, the inaugural Aloha Bowl. Then from Memphis, Tennessee, live the 24th annual Liberty Bowl on Wednesday, December 29th at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. We look forward to having you join us for these two collegiate classics on most of these Metro Sports stations. at the 49-yard line of Notre Dame. It'll be third down and three. Air Force leading the Irish 14 to nothing. Mike 
Johnston, who has kicked 16 field goals and 19 tries this year, warming up on the sidelines. Notre Dame has not been close to a score this afternoon. Well, this Falcon defense has been tremendous. They've only really blitzed the passer on one occasion. They're rushing with uh, three down linemen and two linebackers, but putting good pressure on Notre Dame quarterback here in this case. Notre Dame, third down and three. Jim O'Hara, the quarterback, has the wideouts on the same side. Howard and Haywood wide to the left. Chase gets a valve pass and it's incomplete. Incomplete at the 42 yard line. It was intended for Phil Cogger. He tried to run with it before he snared it. And it's fourth down Notre Dame with 40 seconds left in the first half. Heavy rush put on again by Charlie Heath, the junior defensive end from Houston, Texas. Fourth down and Notre Dame will go for it with just 40 seconds showing on the clock in the first half. will take over on downs with 35 seconds showing on the clock. Ball spotted at the Air Force 49 yard line. Carter is a yard shy of the first down. First and 10 Air Force. Well, you've got 35 seconds on the clock, and I believe Air Force has all their timeouts remaining. John McEnroe leads the United States team against France in the finals of the Davis Cup competition beginning Friday on ESPN. The Davis Cup symbolic of world supremacy in tennis. Join ESPN for three-day live coverage of the 1982 Davis Cup final. See history in the making. First and ten Air Force. Laufen back to pass. Fires deep to the sideline. It is knocked down by Chris Brown on a good defensive play by Brown who had his man all the way. It was intended for Dennis Moore. It was intended, excuse me, for Jody Simmons. And Brown was there all the way at second down and 10. 28 seconds to play in the first half. Air Force leading Notre Dame 14 to nothing. Mike Brown has come in offensively for Air Force. Jody Simmons is out. I like to throw to Mike Brown. He's their second leading receiver. Lauthan rolling out, straight back, looks up field, gets a short pass away to Brown. Brown over the 50 to the 40. Brown to the 30. Brown inside the 25 to the 23 yard line. First down, Air Force. And Air Force, stunning Notre Dame, now has the ball in field goal range. Really a well executed screen pass for Mike Brown. 75, Tony Reno is out in front of him. He got way to the outside. Good block there on Duderson. Larkin slips. Mike Brown, a good run down the sidelines. First down. Air Force. Finally stopped by Chris Brown at the 23 yard line. 16 sh seconds showing on the clock here in the first half. Air Force leading 14 0, threatening to score more before halftime. Air Force has two timeouts remaining. Notre Dame has two. They are certainly within the field goal range of Sean Pavlich. Pavlich has kicked a 55 yarder this year. He is 12 for 14 in the field goal department. Air Force averaging 30 30 point eight points uh, per game this year. Two games they scored over 30 points and lost. They lost 31 to 30 to Texas Tech. And 49 to 37 to New Mexico. First and 10 Air Force at the 23 yard line of Notre Dame. Falcons leading 14 to nothing. 16 ticks left in the first half. Kirby comes wide to the right. Louthen scrambling. Oh, he is sacked back at the 27 yard line. He had no chance as Kevin Griffith was right there on top of him. Griffith, who's been outstanding all year, along with Clasby, where you see Griffith the breakthrough and Spielmaker in there from the outside. 
sixth sack of the year for Kevin Griffith. Moves it back to the 27-yard line where it's second down. Loss on the play of four, second down and 14 with 10 seconds left to play in the first half. Again, Air Force calling timeout to stop the clock with 10 seconds showing. Marty Lauten, junior quarterback from Eugene, Oregon, who has scored both Air Force touchdowns this afternoon, leading the Air Force Academy Falcons. They have a 14 to nothing lead with 10 seconds left to play in the first half. Timeouts remaining, Air Force one, Notre Dame two. Lauthen brings him up on a second down and 14 call. Hand off to Kirshner inside, gets back to the original line of scrimmage, the 23, John Watry making the tackle. Five seconds showing on the clock. And Air Force will bring their field goal unit on to try to tack on three more points before halftime. This will be about a 40-yard attempt for Sean Pavlich, the junior from Prescott, Arizona. He's got a good, strong leg. He kicked one 55 yards this year against BYU. Greg Zellinger will hold, and the spotter is Derek Brown. The snapper, rather, is Derek Brown. So it'll be a 40-yard field goal attempt for Sean Pavlich, who is 12 for 14 field goal tries this year. Pavlich. Snaps good. Pavlich's boot is long enough, and it is good. A 40-yard field goal by Sean Pavlich, and that'll end the first half. Air Force is shocking. No grenade here. 17 to nothing, Air Force leading. That's the end of the first half from Falcon Stadium with the score. Air Force 17, Notre Dame nothing. Colorado Springs, Colorado, where the Air Force Academy has a 17 to nothing lead on Notre Dame at halftime. Notre Dame will kick off two Air Force to start the second half. The lone deep man for Air Force, Dennis Moore. Doing the kicking for Notre Dame, freshman Hal Von Weil. 17-0, Air Force leading. George, the question is, what can Notre Dame do here in the second half? Well, first of all, they got to stop the wishbone and get, the, get a hold of the football. I'd like to see him play the freshman, Todd Lazan. Archer hasn't been able to move. O'Hare has it. Let's try something different, the freshman. Moore will not run this one out. Air Force will have it first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Marty Lauthan, junior quarterback from Eugene, Oregon, who has rushed for both Air Force touchdowns this afternoon, will lead the Falcons here in the second half. From the 20-yard line, first and 10 Air Force. Air Force... The first half had 10 first downs to Notre Dame's four. Often has Kirshner, Foster, and Simmons as the running backs behind him in the wishbone. This is Kirshner, and Kirshner gets one yard, and that is about all. Brought down by Kevin Griffith. And also getting up off the bottom of the pile is Mike Golick. They held Kirshner pretty well in check. Nine attempts, 31 carries. The Falcons the uh, had 140 yards on 31 carries on the ground. Mike Brown has come in offensively for Air Force. Going out is Jody Simmons. It's a second down and nine call for Marty Louthan. Louthan on the option play. Pitches it back. Good grab by Foster, but he gets only a yard on the play as Stacy Torin came up from the cornerback to drop him at the 22. Foster, Eric okay. Foster, the ball carrier, got one, and it'll be third down and eight. Notre Dame looking a little more aggressive on defense, really strung that, that option play out all the way to the sidelines. I just wonder what Jerry Faust told his team at halftime. 
And I would imagine that that was a very, very stern halftime message from Coach Faust. Inside handoff, Kirshner up to the 25-yard line, well short of the first down. He was brought down on the play by Bob Clasby along with Mark Savagnin. So it's a fourth down of the punting situation will be on for Air Force Academy as they fail to move in their first offensive possession of the second half. Kubiak kicked once in the first half, 55 yards. Excellent punter, Dave Dewerson back in solo safety for Notre Dame. Kicks him so high it looks like they might bring rain. Dewerson will return this one from the 30-yard line. Dewerson running to the far side, gets away from one man, knocked out of bounds at the 34. Well, Notre Dame will have it first and 10 from their own 34-yard line. First and 10, Notre Dame. They'll have the ball at their own 34-yard line. There's a penalty marker down on the play, and Notre Dame's going to be called for a clip, so it's going to move the ball further back. Notre Dame had 104 yards on the ground and 24 carries. Passing, they were three for eight with one interception. But they lost one fumble. And one interception, the Falcons capitalized on it, got two touchdowns. The Falcons held Notre Dame on fourth and one. Then made a great completion and got three more points on the board. Notre Dame starting all the way back at their own 18 as a result of the clip first and 10. Jim O'Hara is the quarterback, the senior from Cypress, California. Sends Haywood in motion. On a first and 10 for the 18. The wide pitch. Carter gets a good by runner. Pinkett gets a good block up to the 25 before he's brought down. Stopped by Chris Funk. Gain of seven by Pinkett. Alan Pinkett picking up seven That's yards on the Funk. carry. Averages 5.1 per carry. It'll be second down and three. Pinkett had 29 yards on four carries in the first half. Moriarty and Pinkett, the running backs behind Jim O'Hara. Second down and three from the 25-yard line. Haywood in motion. This is Pinkett again. He gets two. He'll be short of the first down. Brought down by Sean Smith, the junior linebacker from Guthrie, Oklahoma. It'll be third down and one. Smith, the linebacker, reads those plays very well, and while he's reading them, he goes across the line of scrimmage, splits the offensive line, and then he goes down low and grabs for legs, and he tripped up Pink at that time. They're down one Notre Dame from their own 27-yard line, trailing 17 to nothing here in the third period. Pink it again, has the first down. Pink it then some, all the way up to the 41-yard line, a fine run by Roaring 20, Allen Pink it. To the 41-yard line, Dewan Wilson, a touchdown-saving tackle. Make it behind Moriarty there. Watch him show up the middle, and then he turns it on to the outside. There's a good block by Kelly. Watch the way he slides, keeps his legs moving and spinning at all times. First and 10, Notre Dame at their own 41-yard line. Sean Smith, Howard's first reception of the afternoon is 24th of the year. First and 10, Notre Dame at the Air Force 44-yard line. 11-17 left to play, third period. Air Force leading 17 to nothing. Moriarty gets the handoff. Moriarty breaks the tackle. Moriarty inside the 30, all the way down to the 24. come out here in the sec second half. Yeah, here's the replay. They went on a quick count. There he slips one tackler, Moriarty. Good balance, good speed. He's strong, big legs, big upper body. First down, and that's... Back live, first and 10 of the 24-yard line. Air Force is 24, Jim O'Hara. Pitches wide to Pinkett, gets a block from Brooks. Pinkett up to the 21-yard line, a pickup of just three before he is brought down. Stopped by Dewan Wilson. 
It'll make it second down and seven for Notre Dame at the Air Force 21-yard line. Well, whatever Jerry Faust told him at halftime, it seems to be working. Coming out in the second half with much more intensity. Notre Dame in their first defensive series and their first offensive series playing much more crisply. Second down and seven. Brooks and Pink at the running backs behind O'Hara. O'Hara, quick pass, got his man, Haywood, and Haywood down to the 16-yard line where he's swarmed upon by blue jerseys. But a pickup on the play of around five on the quick out to Haywood. That's one thing you can discover at halftime, that the cornerbacks of the Falcons were playing off the wide receivers. Now you've got Mill Jackson in there. We haven't seen him since the Oregon game. Third down and two call at the 16-yard line of Air Force. Notre Dame moves. That's going to cost them five. Mike Kelly, the offensive tackle, moves, and it's going to be an illegal procedure penalty against Notre Dame. will change the call here. Instead of third and two, it'll be third and seven. Jerry Faust, offensive coordinator Tom Lichtenberg looking on. Moves it back to the 21-yard line. It'll bring up a third down and seven now. Illegal Penalties, Notre Dame, four for 30. Air Force, three for 15. Trouble getting the play from the bench now has it on a third down and seven call from the 21 yard line. Pinkett and Moriarty are the running backs behind Jim O'Hara. O'Hara back to pass. Has time right up the middle. Dropped by Alan Pinkett. In and out of his grasp. He was open, but he couldn't hang on. And it's a fourth down and seven call. Working from a split backfield. Pinkett checks down left. Moriarty down right. You see 39 crossing. Pinkett coming behind him. O'Hare lays it right in there. Pinkett trying to run before he controlled the ball was wide open. And we have a fourth down. Notre Dame will attempt a field goal. Mike Johnston will line it up. This will be a 38 yard attempt. Ken Karcher will hold. Kevin Kelly will snap. Johnston 16 out of 19 in field goal attempts. Spotted Johnson's kick certainly long enough, and it is good. And Notre Dame is on the board for the first time this afternoon on a field goal by Mike Johnston with the score Air Force 17, Notre Dame 3. We'll be back in a moment. People ask me, what spark from Notre Dame getting on the board on the 38 yard field goal by Mike Johnston, now 17 to 3 Air Force in the third quarter, 9.05 left to play in the third quarter. Notre Dame, after playing kind of a sluggish first half, coming out of the second half, appear to be much more inspired. But they still trail by 14. Alvon Weil will kick off for Notre Dame. Back in safety for Air Force. Final will be score. Dennis Moore. Look at the stats. Uh, it's all Falcons, 10 to 4 in first downs, 140 to 104 rushing, passing yards. They have it again, 79 to 21. Total yards, 219 to 132. And there's the big one for the Falcons. Two Irish turnovers, one by interception, one by fumble, led to the two touchdowns. Von Weil really gets his foot into that one. It'll go way out of the end zone. And Air Force will have it first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. First down, Air Force. So Notre Dame was able to stop the wishbone in the first series for Air Force in the second half. Notre Dame should be gambling a little on defense. They just can't lay back with that wishbone. They've got to play their cornerbacks up tight. They've got to run their linebackers in there. They've got to take chances to stop this wishbone and maybe get the ball back, cause a fumble. Marty Lautham, the junior quarterback, calling signals for Air Force. A handoff on a counter play. And racing wide, Simmons gets out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Just got out of the grasp of Chris Brown. Simmons has good speed to the outside. 
because Chris, Chris Brown is no slowpoke. Jody Simmons, 51 yards, seven carriers, seven carries. Picked up seven on that carry. It'll be second down and three Air Force at their own 27-yard line. Kirby wide right, Dennis Moore wide left. Inside handoff, Kirshner. First down and then some to the 34-yard line. John Kirshner stopped by Kevin Griffith. It's a first down Air Force. Air Force with a 17 to 3 lead here in the third quarter will try to use the clock. 8.55 left in the third period. Kirshner doesn't get yardage in big burst, but he's a very steady runner and he holds that middle middle line defense on, on Notre Dame in check by his fakes up the middle and his ball carrier, and that's time for the first down. He's closing in on the 1,000 yard mark this year as Kirshner is laughing Keats the option play gets up over the 35 to the 38 before he's corralled by Bob Cosby. Lothan led his team in rushing in the first half 46 yards and seven carries two touchdowns and his long run was a 31 yarder. Mike Brown comes in offensively for Air Force going out Jody Simmons the ball at the 38 yard line where it's second down and six for Air Force. Inside handoff up over the 40 to about the 42 yard line. Kirshner, the ball carrier, stopped by Tony Virginic, the freshman linebacker from Chicago. Short of the first down, it's third down and a long one. Kirshner has rushed for over 950 yards this year, so with one game remaining at Hawaii, he'll go over the 1,000 yard line. the first down. Ralph and quarterback sneak and he might go all the way. Ralph is going to be caught from behind at the three yard line on a quarterback sneak. It was wide open and Stacy Torrin finally dropped it at the three yard line. Notre Dame in a four man line. You see it. The two inside linebackers. The center comes through. He gets a Vagnon. Larkin can't catch him. That was probably an audible call. Great block by the center, Ricard Smith on Zavagna and allowed Laughlin to go all the way to the three-yard line. First down and goal to go Air Force. Marty Laughlin, who's rushed for both touchdowns. There you see his stats on the afternoon. 89 yards, nine carries, two touchdowns. And you said earlier, Ricard Smith, the center, was the key blocker on this Falcon offensive line he showed at that time. What a big block on Zavagnon. Laufen on the option play. Pitches back to Simmons. Touchdown Air Force Academy. Jody Simmons with his second touchdown of the year. Let's watch this faking on the part of Laufen. There you see him right, right in there with Kirshner. And then Laufen makes the pitch to the outside. And Joe Johnson can't catch him before he goes into the end zone. So Air Force has taken a 23 to 3 lead. The conversion attempt by Sean Pavlich. Salinger will hold. And the snapper is Derek Brown. Good snap. Extra point attempt is up, and it is good. Air Force with a 21-point lead with the score. Air Force 24, Notre Dame 3. We'll be back in a moment. This fall had their best chance ever to catch the excitement of professional football from Canada. The Canadian Football League title showdown comes here on Sunday, November 28th, when ESPN presents live coverage of the Grey Cup game for the CFL Championship. The Grey Cup game is Canada's biggest sporting event, the Canadian answer to the Super Bowl. Join ESPN's Fred White and Paul McGuire for all the action live on your Total Sports Network. Carlos Mateos will kick off for Air Force. The deep men for Notre Dame, Alan Pinkett, Pat Ballage, and Chris Stone. 24 to 3 Air Force with 647 left to play in the third period. Air Force trying to beat the Fighting Irish for the first time in this series, having lost the previous 11 games, and they have a commanding lead here in the third quarter. Notre Dame hopes for a blue bonnet bowl bid. 
could be dashed if they are upset by Air Force. Puts it on the ground. They try to prevent a run back by Pinkett, who picks it up at the five-yard line. Pinkett back up the middle of the 20. Good running by Allen. Gets up to the 27-yard line, where it'll be first and 10. Brought down by Peter Browning. From the end zone, Pickett picks up the ball, starts to his left here. There's good blocking. Two good blocks. Pickett trying to pick his hole. This trip tripped up after a good gain back to the 27. Jim O'Hara quarterback for Notre Dame. Joe Howard wide right. Mike Haywood wide left. Pickett and Moriarty the running backs behind O'Hara. First and ten from their own 27 yard line. Hand off to Moriarty. Moriarty up over the 30 to about the 31 yard line where he's stopped by Steve Rafferty. Moriarty on the carry. Moriarty picking up on the play about three yards. It'll be second down and seven at their own 31. Fifteen left to play, third period. O'Hara back to pass. Blitz is picked up, and now he gets away from the blitzer. He scrambles his way back for a loss on the play of about a yard. The blitz was picked up initially. Watch Sean Smith, the left inside linebacker. He delays just a little bit. Well, he runs through. He runs through a block. He's knocked down. He gets up. Having a great game. O'Hare runs under him. But there are too many Falcons there. Led by Chris Funk. So it's a third down and eight call. Or Jim O'Hare at, the old, at their own 30-yard line. O'Hare back to pass. Fires a sideline pass. It's caught. Fighting for the first down. Ball is loose at the 38-yard line. Fighting for the first down was Tony Hunter. He fumbled and then appeared to recover his own fumble. Oh, that was Haywood. Haywood. Haywood making the catch and appeared to cover his own fumble, and he'll be close to a first down and has the first down. Well, here it throws out to the outside. Watch the catch. It's short of the first down. That's Haywood. There's the ball stripped by the freshman, Don Wilson, and Haywood gets it back. And a first down. First down just because of how far the ball moved on the fumble. Recovered by Haywood. First and 10 Notre Dame at their own 38 yard line. Haywood and Howard wide to the left. Pink against the handoff to the short side of the field. A short tackle at the 41 yard line by Chuck Peterson, the junior from Fort Worth, Texas. Pick up by Pinkett of three yards, bringing up a second down and seven. 4.44 to go, third period. Air Force leading Notre Dame, 24 to three. And Piercy is into the wide out now. But he and Joe Howard both wide to the left. Rolling out O'Hara, shoots a little screen pass to Pinkett. Pinkett looks for a block, gets it, gets past midfield into Air Force territory, but there is a flag down on the play. Pinkett was stopped at the 48th. There's a marker down the play. It's going to go against Notre Dame. So it'll wipe out the game on the screen pass to Alan Pinkett. Let's watch O'Hara drop back. Now he's setting up the screen. He fakes. Looks to the left. Throw the defenders off. Now Pinkett has slipped. Has uh, slid out to the right flat. He makes a good gain and penalty against the Irish. Oh, it wipes out the good gain by Pinkett. Moves it all the way back to the 36-yard line. Notre Dame, five penalties, 35 yards. The Air Force has been penalized just 15 yards. It'll be a second down, 11 call for Jim O'Hara. And Piercy and Milt Jackson are both wide to the left. the 22-yard line. His knee touched back of the 22 after some pressure was put on by Tom Stanberry. Yeah, the 
blitz was on by the middle linebacker. Moriarty went down from his fullback position, was wide open, but O'Hare couldn't see him because of the rush. 328 left to play here in the third quarter. Air Force leading Notre Dame 24 to 3. It is third down and a long, long ways to go for the first down, 24 yards. O'Hara hands off to pick it, and he gets up to the 25, and that is all. Brought down by Tom Stanberg, along with Chris Pott, the Notre Dame will have to put it away from their own 25-yard line. Notre Dame trailing by 21 here at Falcon Stadium in Colorado Springs will have to punt it away. Mike Kirby, the deep man for Air Force. Blair Keel gets the punt away. It's a good one. Kirby back at the 24-yard line will try to return it. Gets up to the 30. You know, he was really rocked down at the 33-yard line. Brought down hard by Chris Smith. That'll be first and ten. For Air Force at their own 33-yard line. With the score, Air Force 24, Notre Dame 3. We'll be back in a moment. First and ten, Air Force. They have the ball at their own 33-yard line, leading 24 to 3. 227 left, third quarter. Handlock goes to Kirchner. Loose ball. Force recovers at their own 36. Kirchner fumbled the football, but an alert Air Force lineman was there to pounce on him. That's the ever-present Ricard Smith, the senior center, three-year letterman from Enid, Oklahoma. What a great job he's done, the offensive center for Air Force. Their line is not big. They average 227, 227 pounds from uh, tackle to tackle, but they're doing a good job against the defensive line of the Irish. It'll be second down and eight for Air Force. Laufen on the option play. Going to keep, and he's corralled right there. Brought down on the play by Joe Rudzinski. Move the ball to the 38-yard line, where it's third down and seven. John Autry comes back in defensively for Notre Dame. Eric Dorsey goes out. Simmons. The offensive line of uh, the Falcons taking wide splits, wider than normal. And this spreads the defensive line out and opens the holes for the backs of the Falcons. Third down, Lauthen back to pass. Fires a sideline pass, and it's going to be short of the first down on a fine tackle by Stacy Torr. It was complete to Simmons, but he's short of the first down. Ball of the 40-yard line. Where it is a fourth down and three, and Air Force undoubtedly will punt. Dave Dewerson back in solo safety for Notre Dame. The punting team comes on quickly, and Notre Dame's team is trying to go off quickly, and Notre Dame had too many men on the field, it looks like. The punt is going to be fielded by Dewerson, but I think the penalty is going to give Air Force a first down as they brought their punting unit on late. Notre Dame didn't get off the field. Well, Ken Hatfield is full of tricks today. Earlier in the game, he had the field goal kicker come in, and he lined up a tight end, but that play didn't work in the fourth and short yardage. This time, he delayed sending in his punting team, and they caught Notre Dame with too many men on the field. against Notre Dame. Too many men on the field. That gives Air Force a first down. So the trickery of Ken Hatfield works. Air Force at the last second brought in their punting unit, lined up quickly, and Notre Dame could not get their return team on in time or the defense off in time. Five-yard penalty, first down. Now those plays just don't happen. Something like 13 or 14. <laughs> it is first out Air Force at the 45-yard line. Seconds ticking away here in the third quarter. Just 23 seconds remaining, and Air Force leads Notre Dame 24-3. to Laughing on a 
first and ten from the 45-yard line. Inside handoff, pulling his way up over the 50 of the Notre Dame 49-yard line. Before Bob Claspie brings down John Kirshner. Kirshner picking up seven yards on the carry. It's second down and three. Line lead is on the back of the Notre Dame. Kirshner running out of his, his shoe there. He wears the low-cut shoes as most of the players do today. He's their leading rusher at the quarter end. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Air Force 24, Notre Dame 3. We'll be back in a moment. You have to wait a while. Well, to the one. Well, to win this game, Notre Dame's got to get 22 points in 15 minutes as we start the fourth and final period. The Air Force fans on their feet sensing their first ever victory against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. The Air Force in the fourth period this year against their opponents have scored 72 points against their opponents 85. While Notre Dame, on the other hand, has scored 40 to their opponents 53. So it's a standoff. But both teams have been outscored in the fourth period by their opponents. It is a second down and three call for Air Force at the Notre Dame 48-yard line. 24 to three, Air Force leading the Fighting Irish with 15 minutes left to play. Marty Laupin, who was directed this Air Force wishbone brilliantly this afternoon. Inside handoff. Kirshner close to a first down. Brought down by Tony Ferjanic. It's a third down and one for Air Force at the 45-yard line. Notre Dame still not playing anybody head up on the center. Smith, they can go for that quarterback sneak again if it looks right. Quarterback sneak led to their third touchdown as Marty Life and Alpin placed all the way to the three-yard line. That's it. And he's got plenty of the yardage. All the way down to the 39-yard line. George, you called it, and he picked up an easy six. Look at that from the defense. Nobody there. Ricard Smith just fires out. Lauthan right behind him. Once again, he blocks the Vagnon. Good call. And Notre Dame staying on the defense and hurt him before. 96 yards on 11 carries for Marty Lauthan. Two touchdowns. First and 10 Air Force at the Notre Dame 39-yard line. Good defensive play by Mike Golick, the sophomore from Warwick, Ohio. Derek Foster, the ball carrier, was thrown for a loss by Golick. Back to the 42-yard line. Loss of about two. It'll be second down and 12. Mike Kirby comes in with a play from the bench, and Greg Egan goes out, the senior tight end from Thornton, Colorado. Second down and 12 call for Laupin. Inside handoff, getting back to the original line of scrimmage, goes the fullback, Kirshner. Marks of Agnon and John Autry making the tackle. And it's a third down and 10 call. I believe one of the reasons Hunter Dame is staying in that four-man line is because of the wide splits that they're taking in the offensive line of the Falcons. They're spreading out that defensive line. They don't want to leave either side of the line unprotected. So they figure they won't play heady, anybody head up in the center, and it's hurt them, and they're in that four-man line again. Laupin on the option, pitching back to Simmons, got some running room. First down to the far side. He's knocked out of bounds to the 28-yard line. It's first and 10 Air Force. Jody Simmons. That's one thing that Ken Hatfield, their coach, said. They have more speed this year, speed to the outside. As we look at Jody Simmons, Get around Stacy Torn. Just step out of bounds there. They have a host of running backs. Lauthan can run. Good blocking up front by the Falcon offensive line that is outweighed but not outmanned. First and ten. Air Force, they have the ball at the Notre Dame 28 yard line. Time slipping away on the Fighting Irish. 12 37 left. 
And off and nothing there. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage is John Kirshner. No game by Kirshner. Bob Clasby making the tackle. It will be second down and 10. One reason that the Falcon line, even though they're outweighed, can outmaneuver the Irish defense because there's no set way there to block their man. The backs in the wishbone read the blocks and they run to daylight. They run behind or in front of the blocks and there's no designated hole. And with the smart backs the Falcons have, they're running right to the, to the hole that's blocked for. Second down on a pitch back to Simmons. He's not going to get much this time as he is thrown out of bounds on the far side by Tony Ferjanic. Ferjanic throws him about 10, 10 feet out of bounds, too. Ferjanic, the freshman linebacker from Chicago, making the tackle. Loss on the play back to the 30 yard line. It's a third down and 12 call for Marty Lauthan. But meanwhile, the Falcons are eating up time on that clock. Certainly are. As Jerry Faust looks on, very concerned, trailing by 21 points with 11.54 left. Kirby comes wide left. Wide to the right goes Tom Coleman. Quarterback sneak, short of the first down, gets up to the 25 yard line, does Marty Lauthan. That's got to be an audible, and that's between the center, Ricard Smith, and the quarterback. He just uh, raises his top hand just a little bit. He snaps the ball, and those are the only people that have to know where it's going, the center and the quarterback. And the field goal unit will come on. Sean Pavlich will attempt a 42-yard field goal. Zollinger will hold. Derek Brown to snap a 42-yard attempt by Pavlich. The ball is booted. It's certainly long enough, and it is good. A field goal for Air Force. Air Force is up their lead with the score. Air Force 27, Notre Dame 3. We'll be back in a moment. Mr. Kofa? Yes. I'm your Bell System Yellow Pages representative. I'm here to help you. Well, I'm in the book. What more can I say? The Bell System Yellow Pages can do the talking for you. You know, the food is great. Uh, Mama does all the cooking. Well, say it. I said it. Say it here in the Yellow Pages. We're four out of five people let their fingers do the walking. Mama, he's here to help us. Really? <laughs> Give him my apron. <laughs> Get the Yellow Pages talking. Mama does all the cooking. Let your fingers do the walking. BMW presents the only form of interior decoration that ever made a luxury car perform better. Such decoration. Be sure to tune in next week when the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame take on the 15th ranked Trojans of Southern Cal. Join us for all the action on the Metro Sports Television Network. Notre Dame trailing 27 to 3 with 11 11 left to play. Carlos Mateos will kick off for Air Force. Air Force never having beaten the Fighting Irish in this series, losing the first 11 games, vying for a major upset here this afternoon and leading 27 to 3. And the Air Force coming into this game have three wins in a row. That's the first time that's happened since 1975. Looking for their fourth win in a row and to get a 7 and 4 record. They won the Commander-in-Chief trophy by beating Navy and Army, service supremacy in football, taking that trophy away from Navy for the first time in the last five years. Air Force recruits nationally. They have 13 players from California and 13 from Texas. Alan Pink and Pat Fallage and Chris Stone, the deep men from Notre Dame. going to take it at the one yard line. Allen Pinkett back up the middle. There's a penalty marker down. Pinkett got back to the 22, but there's a penalty marker down. The play. And usually on returns, that can mean only one thing, and that's a clip. Jeff Rouser made the tackle. It is a clip. And Notre Dame again will start deep in the hole. against Notre Dame will move it back to the eight yard line where Notre Dame will start first and ten at their own eight yard line. Twenty 
7-3 Air Force, 11.06 left to play. Jim O'Hara, the senior quarterback. As Piercy and Howard as his wideouts. Play action pass. O'Hara goes deep to Howard, and it's under thrown and incomplete. Service Academy since the Navy in 1963. That was a great quarterback, great Navy quarterback, Roger Staubach, and he won the Heisman Trophy that year. Second down of 10 Notre Dame. They have it at their own eight yard line. Now O'Hara calls time. Maintaining that he could not team could not hear the signals through the noise of the Air Force Academy cadets making on the far side. You know, one of the amazing things about this Air Force defense, they lost their four deep backs. They replaced them with Don Smith, Greg Zellinger, the freshman Juan Wilson, and Chuck Peterson, all doing an excellent job. Rifles one. It's caught by Piercy for a first down at the 22-yard line. O'Hara to Van Piercy was brought down by Don Smith, but it's enough for a first down Notre Dame. O'Hara looking downfield, then he finally finds Van Piercy. The Falcon defense, they're going to give him those passes. They're going to stay back. That's Juan, excuse me, that's Don Smith covering them. They don't want anybody to get behind them. With the lead they have, they'll give them the pass and the passes in front of them. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. They're all 22 for Notre Dame, trailing 27 to 3. O'Hara back to pass, has time. Now it closes in on him, and he's sacked. Back at the 13-yard line by Bob Avila and by Chris Funk. Great coverage by the deep backs of the Falcons. Everybody was covered. O'Hara had enough time. The time ran out with a good coverage, and he got sacked. All the way back to the 14-yard line, where it brings up a second down and 18. Ten minutes left to play. Notre Dame trailing 27 to 3 here at Falcon Stadium in Colorado Springs. Seven-yard line. He's got a first down. Stopped by Carl Dejanay. Complete to Howard. Stopped by Dejanay and Wilson. Watch 33. Uh, he's uh, way back out of the picture. Howard comes across. Peterson is way to the right of your picture. And they're giving him the one in front. Covered by number 49. Tony Hunter, another first down and into Air Force territory to the Falcon 49-yard line from Jim O'Hara to Tony Hunter. Mike Zollinger making the tackle. First down, Notre Dame at the 50-yard line. O'Hara really firing that one in there between three dark jerseys. Hunter's second reception of the day. He still doesn't hang on to that ball too well. He finally put two hands on it. First and down, Notre Dame at the 50-yard line. Can't get away from the swarm of blue jerseys. Jetanay was right there on the bottom of the tackle. Pinkett losing a yard on the play. It's second down and 11. Leading 27 to 3, the Air Force defensively can take all kinds of chances. They can gamble, they can blitz, they can red dog, they can do anything. L. Jackson wide left, Mike Haywood wide right. Pinkett, and he's dropped immediately. It's a 45-yard line. Find 
defensive play by Sean Smith, the junior linebacker from Guthrie, Oklahoma. Game is six. It's a third down and five. Yeah, the Falcon linebackers dropping off. Even their middleman, Avila, 88, dropping off there. They're going to give him those passes all day long. That's Smith, 36, outstanding linebacker. John Sweeney has come in offensively for Notre Dame. He's a tight end. Brooks and Pink at the running back. So Hera rolling out, fires a pass. Got his man Haywood first down at the air. Complete to Haywood. He made a set on the play. Pushed out of bounds by John Smith. Good rollout. The flow of the backfield goes left. Everything goes left. Look at O'Hare. He squares up pretty good before he throws it out to Haywood. Good pass, but not for much yardage. First and 10, Notre Dame with the 35-yard line. O'Hara looks for Sweeney, and Sweeney makes a fine comeback catch at the 28-yard line, short of the first down. Zollinger making the tackle along with Don Smith. Pass play to John Sweeney, good for seven. Notre Dame is moving the ball, but they're not getting large enough chunks of yardage. There's a short pass to Sweeney, his first. The Falcon deep backs, Juan Wilson and Chuck Peterson, before the ball is snapped, they're starting backward. Piercy wide left, Howard wide right. The second down and three call, O'Hara back. Looking deep, fires up the middle, wide open, touchdown Notre Dame, Larry Moriarty. Moriarty was wide open up the middle. Down pass to Larry Moriarty. O'Hare gets plenty of protection. Moriarty had been open earlier in the game. He makes a great over the shoulder catch here. Just cradles that ball. He's hit hard, fumbles the ball, hangs onto it, goes in for the score. Mike Johnson will attempt the conversion. Ken Karcher will hold. 27 9 Air Force. It's a fake. I'll go for a two-point conversion. Karcher throws two-point conversion. Good to John Sweeney. Well, a two-point conversion successfully executed from Ken Karcher to John Sweeney. Good trickery. Karcher, they, the Falcons went in for the block. Now, Karcher is very content here to wait. He waits and waits till his man Sweeney gets open, and he makes a sure catch for two points. With the score, Air Force 27, Notre Dame 11. We'll be back in a moment. Air Force just 7.03 left. Mike Johnston is going to kick off. Normally it's Hal Von Weil, so watch for an onside kick. Air Force certainly looking for it. They have 10 men between the 45 and the 50 yard line. Johnston will kick off. A lone deep man for Air Force. Dennis Moore. Johnson trying to get it over those short men. It's a race for the football, and it is still loose, and I don't know. Air Force recovering at the 27-yard line. The official indicating that Air Force had recovered. Comes up with the ball. The pickoff from the Falcon. First down, Air Force. First down, Air Force at the 28 yard line. Air Force leading 27 11. Seven minutes left to play, and they'll try to use up that clock. Louthan, the quarterback. Kirby wide to the left. Dennis Moore wide to the right. Inside handoff, Kirshner outruns one man. Kirshner finally corralled by Joe Johnson at the 33-yard line. Picked up around five on the play. Kirshner, the fullback, goes to his right. Watch him pivot right to his left, run against the grain. Finally shows pretty good speed, gets away from Griffith. He's been a bulwark of strength all day long. Running to the outside, not too fast, but good and strong. Ball spotted at the 33-yard line, a pickup on the play. Right around five 
Kirshner has 63 yards to his credit. Marty Lawson, season, 962. Marty Lawson has 101 yards rushing today. And Notre Dame going into this game was third in the nation, allowing over only 79.1 yards per game. It shows you how well the Falcons have played today. Third in rushing in the country coming into this one, 318.1 yards per game. It's a second down and five for Laupin at his own 33-yard line. Therefore, stunning Notre Dame, 27 to 11. Inside handoff and a pickup of a couple of yards at the 35-yard line. Jerry Wiley making the tackle. And again, it's the workhorse, John Kirshner. Kirshner, the junior from Woodland, California. He's worked so hard, one of his socks is all the way down around his ankles, the other one is at half mast, but he doesn't care. The Air Force is winning 27 to 11. With 5.45 left to play as the Falcon looks on. Third down and two ball. Laupin hands off to Kirshner, and Kirshner has the first down to the 39 yard line. and 10 Air Force at their own 39. Mike Larkin made the tackle, but again, John Kirshner picking up the first down. He'll go over 1,000 yards rushing this year. Can't say enough about that offensive line blocking of the Falcons. Ricard Smith, the center, excellent blocking on, on John Autry. Air Force 15 first downs to Notre Dame. First and 10 Air Force at their own 39-yard line. Laupin on the option play, nowhere to go as Joe Johnson came in to break it up in the final clamp put on by Kevin Griffin. No gain on the play, it'll be second down and 10, but Air Force successfully using the clock here. They're 450 and counting. They have a 27 to 11 lead. Laupin was double teamed that time. Falcons. 11 rushing TDs this season. Two of them this afternoon. It is a second down and 10 call for Marty Laupin. Laupin on the option play. Pitches it back. And Jody Simmons gets up to around the 45-yard line. He was brought down by Kevin Griffin. Pick up on the play of six. And it'll bring up a third down and four. Notre Dame has called a timeout with 4.13 left to play. Notre Dame using one of their timeouts here with 4.13 left, trailing 27 to 11. Third down and four call. Well, Friday night marks the season premiere of ESPN's College Basketball Report with host Bob Lay. Every week during the college hoop season, Bob takes a coast-to-coast -coast look at the collegiate basketball scene. I go anywhere else for hoops, but ESPN, we've got the greatest college basketball schedule ever with over 160 big games featuring all the top teams. Even that one from South Bend, Indiana. ESPN, the leading network for college basketball. Ben Hatfield, the coach of the Falcons, has been patient with the uh, Air Force Academy his first year, and they've been patient with him. He was 3-8 and eight, the second year, 2-9-1 and one. last year. Four and seven, but they won three out of their last five games. And with a win today, they will go seven and four. Really had his team prepared for this one. Ken Hatfield in his fourth year, former All-American at Arkansas. Watching his team lead Notre Dame and very possibly defeat Notre Dame for the first time in their history. Walton on the option play. Pitch back that first down. Jody Simmons. Jody Simmons gets the first down in the Notre Dame territory, finally stopped by Larkin. Lawton set that play up by holding the ball as long as he did. He holds it, he goes towards the line, he takes Wojcicki, the linebacker, out, and Simmons, with good speed, goes for the first down. Now it is first and 10 Air Force at the Notre Dame 49-yard line. 3.56 and counting. 
And the Air Force Academy is engineering a major upset here in their first ever win against the Fighting Irish. 27 to 11 Air Force. Inside handoff and Kirshner fighting like a bull gets down to the 40-yard line. John Kirshner stopped finally by Mike Larkin, but he reeled off nine yards. Second and one. Boy, he is a tough back. 5'10", 190-pounder out of Woodland, California. There are his stats. Yeah, he's got he 77. He's got 77 yards. He really covers that ball. He's built like a fire plug. Harry, I'd like to say hello to an old friend, Castleman D. Chesley, who listens to our broadcast at Grandfather Mountain, North Carolina. Ches is a great Notre Dame fan, and he and his wife, Ruthie, are enjoying their retirement at Grandfather Mountain. Very best to Ches, quarterback sneak by Louthan. He was stopped by Eric Dorsey, but might have picked Louthan up the first the down. Dorsey and 2.54 left. And the officials will call timeout to measure to see if Louthan picked up the first down. Time to start thinking of our most valuable player of this game, and there's not much doubt in my mind. Well, I don't like quarterbacks that much. But, uh, <laughs> I gotta go with Marty Lawton. I do too. He's oh, had a tremendous game. Kirshner certainly is. There's a man that deserves consideration, but I would have to go with Marty Lawton, the junior quarterback from Eugene, Oregon, who has scored two touchdowns, rushed for over 100 yards has guided this wish home brilliantly against the Fighting Irish in Notre Dame. Well, he made that great run on a fourth and one from the quarterback's knee, too. And really kind of broke the game open, that one single play. It's a first and ten. Inside handoff and fighting down to the 34-yard line goes Kirshner again. Spotted at the Notre Dame 34 yard line, a pickup of five by Kirschner. Two minutes and 10 seconds left, and Air Force just eating up the clock. And the Air Force Academy Falcons. The first varsity coach here at Air Force Academy was Lawrence T. Buck Shaw, who was an old Notre Damer. It's a second down and four call. Notre Dame showing blitz. Kirshner goes nowhere that time. Kirshner stopped for no gain on the play. Eric Dorsey making the tackle. And it'll be third down and four. But for Air Force, it matters not as Air Force is going to win this game. There's just a minute 35 left in the Air Force Academy. They'll defeat Notre Dame for the first time in their history after 11 previous losses. A tip of the cap to Ken Hatfield, Marty Louthan, and a Excellently prepared Air Force Academy team. With the score, Air Force 27, Notre Dame 11. We'll be back in a moment. Don't you have any credits or things that you want to get done? We want to get... You in a bad mood? Uh-uh. I just hate talking in the morning. I I'll let you shave. No. Stay. You use Noxzema. Yeah. Noxzema gives me a great shave. It does something to condition my skin. Mm softens it. Huh? I can tell when you kiss me. Your face feels real smooth. Well, I guess it's the moisturizer. It? I hate talking in the morning, too. Noxema Medicated Shave Cream. Share the softness. Nearly a hundred years ago in Oregon, the legend of the Pendleton shirt was born. Today, the legend has grown. Pure virgin wools, pure Pendleton quality. Every step, every stitch of the way. In Western wear, Globo, Country Traditionals, and the Pendleton Shirt. All made in America. Four generations of Pendleton quality and value. Enduring like the mountain itself. I'd like to thank the athletic staffs of these two fine universities for their help with the telecast of this game. For the University of Notre Dame, Athletic Director Gene Corrigan, Head Football Coach Jerry Faust, Assistant Athletic Director and Sports Information Director Roger Valdeseri, Assistant Sports Information Director John Heisler. For the United States Air Force Academy Athletic Director Colonel John Clune, Head Football Coach Ken Hatfield, Sports Information Director Hal Payton. And our thanks to Terry Ayers, our spotter this afternoon, and Tom DeJonker, our statistician. Third down and five for Air Force at the Notre Dame 34. 
nothing there for Kirshner again as he is swarmed under by Notre Dame bodies. Tony for Janik right there. Notre Dame calls time to stop the clock with a minute 29 left to play. It's a fourth down. The executive producer of Notre Dame football is Leonard Klampus, the coordinating producer, Paul Carlson. Today's game has been produced by Daryl Landrum and directed by Gary Clough. Associate producers are Marsha Turner and Skip Desjardins. Assistant director is Lauren DeCoster. Production facilities supplied by Telemation Mobile Productions. It's a fourth down for Air Force at the Notre Dame 35-yard line. up some of the clock. Falcon looking very proud and well he might be. This is Air Force team leads Notre Dame 27 to 11. Well, Jerry Faust was worried all week. He was worried about the extra week of practice as we look at him that the Air Force had. They were off last Saturday. Notre Dame coming off two emotional games. Pittsburgh and Penn State just couldn't get up for this game. The Air Force was higher in a kite. They got out in front early and kept banging away against the Irish of Notre Dame who could, could not move the football offensively. It's going to be a long field goal attempt of 53 yards by Sean Pavlich. It is in the air and it is wide to the left and not good. And Notre Dame will take over on downs. There is a penalty marker down on the play. Well, that was written by some of the Air Force Academy cadets here. And has certainly proven true. It has been Air Force's day, leading 27 to 11. Now it's going to be a 57-yard try after the penalty. Pavlik has won 55 yards against BYU this season. It's spotted. It's booted. It is long enough, and it is good. A 57-yard field goal by Sean Pavlik, and that pretty well caps off the day for the Air Force Academy Falcons. 57-yard field goal by junior Sean Pavlich from Prescott, Arizona, the longest in his career. And Air Force leads 30 to 11. And I believe the longest field goal against the University of Notre Dame. Sean Pavlich has missed just two all year. Out of that one, 57 yards, and Air Force leads 30 to 11. Complete domination by the Falcons this afternoon with a minute 22 left to play. Carlos Mateos will kick off. Then Notre Dame will be Alan Pickett, Chris Stone, and Pat Ballage the deep men. And there will be some celebrating done at the Air Force Academy tonight here in Colorado Springs. Might be a record against Notre Dame, but it's not a record for the Air Force Academy. Dave Lawson kicked one 62 yards against Iowa State in 75. A 57 yarder there by Sean Pavlich. Well, the Air Force Academy, who felt all along that they had a shot, their best shot ever at upsetting Notre Dame this year, they're going to do it. 30 to 11 with a minute 22 left to play. is deep into the end zone and Pinker will not run it out. That'll be first down Notre Dame. They'll have the ball at the 20-yard line. Jim O'Hara, the senior quarterback, will try to get the Irish on the board once more. But the result is history now with a minute 22 left. And Air Force leading by 19. Notre Dame fresh out of timeouts. O'Hara on a first and 10 from the 20-yard line. Straight back to pass. Fires 
a sideline pattern. Haywood makes the no, he didn't make the catch. Apparently it hit the ground. He had it and dropped it. So it's second down and ten. So Notre Dame will go six three and one. And to salvage the season, we'll need a win against the men of Troy next week. sideline again to Haywood. This time he catches it and gets out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That'll stop the clock with a minute nine. Air Force leading by a score of 30 to 11. Milt Jackson comes wide to the right. Haywood is wide to the left. The running backs are Pinkett and Moriarty behind Jim O'Hara. Good protection. Wanted Mill Jackson overthrew him. Jackson covered by Don Smith on the play. And it'll be second down and 10, Notre Dame. Jim O'Hare, 11 of 18 for 162 yards and one touchdown today, but it was too little, too late. Air Force bringing on an extra defensive back, Peter Browning, a sophomore from Wales, Wisconsin. Way over the head of the intended receiver, Miller Jackson. So it's a third down and 10 for Notre Dame at their own 35 yard line. It is 11 of 19, 162 yards, one touchdown. Tim DeRuiter comes in defensively for Air Force. Time gets it away, but it's incomplete in and out of the grasp of tight end Tony Hunter. Jeff Rouser defending on play. He has a brother Mike who played at Navy. And it's a fourth down at the 34 yard line, their own 34. Notre Dame with just 49 seconds will go for it. Air Force will go seven and four with one game remaining in Hawaii next week. Notre Dame will go 6-3 and 1. O'Hara back on a fourth down passing attempt. Gets it away. It's juggled. Running out of bounds is Pinkett. And I don't know if he got to the first down markers. It was close. Alan Pinkett out got out of bounds. Rouser, Evidently he did make the first down. At the 45 yard line. 42 seconds left. So Harrell will have four more tries at it at any rate. On the first down. Howard wide right. O'Hara going for a deep bomb to Joe. Howard got it. Touchdown, Notre Dame. A 55 yard touchdown pass from Jim O'Hara to Joe Small Wonder Howard. Well, with a two-man rush, O'Hara on defense, O'Hara had plenty of time. He really winds up and throw one, throws one to Joe Howard. Gets behind the defender of the Falcons, and it's six for Notre Dame. Howard's second touchdown of the year. His first, of course, on the flea flicker, which also was 55 yards, and Notre Dame will go for a two-point conversion. That behind Pashiniak, the freshman defender from Salem, Ohio. So now the two-point conversion attempt with the officials blow the whistles. 33 seconds left to play. And Air Force calls a timeout. Timeout, Falcon. 
Air Force calling a timeout to get themselves set defensively to defend against the two-point conversion. Air Force leading 30 to 17 with just 33 Final seconds score. remaining. Brown 35, Columbia 21. Final score, Duke 23, North Carolina 17. Well, next week, the Fighting Irish head for Los Angeles and renewal of one of college football's greatest rivalries. Their opponent, the Trojans of the University of Southern California. Notre Dame will try to snap a string of four straight losses to USC that goes back to 1978. Notre Final Dame and score, USC Dartmouth, next three, week on ESPN. Final score, William and Mary, 28. So here at Falcon Stadium in Colorado Springs, Final where the Air Force Academy Falcons are going to defeat Notre Dame for the first time. Score, played excellent Tennessee football Jackson, offensively and defensively. Notre Dame Final getting two score, late Virginia touchdown Tennessee. passes when Air Force during their basic prevent defense. Final score, West Jim O'Hara will go for the two-point conversion. Scott Howard wide to the left and Van Piercy wide to the right. Pinkett and Moriarty are the running backs. O'Hara wants Piercy, and it's in and out of his grasp. The two-point two conversion is not good. Depending on the play, Cleveland McCray, a senior from Pineville, South Carolina. So the two-point conversion attempt, not good. And Air Force will hold a 30-17 to 17 lead, and Notre Dame will again try an onside kick. O'Hara rolling out to his right, throwing on the run here. There he's got two blockers up front. It's just a little bit overthrown. He had to get it ahead of him. Just too far out for Van Piercy. Mike Johnston will kick off, and he'll be trying an onside kick with 33 seconds left. Air Force will be ready for it. Air Force leading 30 to 17. Johnson last time with 10 Air Force Academy players lined between the 40 and the 50 kicked it over that front line and right in front of the deep man hoping that someone from Notre Dame could corral it. There was a chance but Air Force John did recover. Did Kirshner, the on the present John Kirshner recovered. Johnston tries it short this time. It was caught by Air Force and hanging on to the football. Number 29 for the Air Force Academy, Scott Thomas. He was really jolted, but he held on. Good play by Scott Thomas. So Air Force will just eat out the clock now and go home with a 30 to 17 win. Convincing win by the Falcons. Well, they averaged 30.8 points going into the game they were eighth in the nation gaining 430 yards a game and they're up to their average of 30 points on Cameron is a quarterback sophomore from San Antonio Texas he did complete one pass today inside handoff the rallying the ball is Jerry Mason a sophomore from Poughkeepsie New York Mason on the and the Air Force Academy Falcons and called a timeout, stopping the clock with 19 seconds left. Air Force will run off one more play, and they want to get some other players in. Kevin Fleming, another sophomore, is going to come in a quarterback. Also coming in for Air Force is Mike Houlihan. The goalposts are coming down here at Falcon Stadium. They're down at both ends. <laughs> Also coming in for Air Force, Marcus Greenwood, freshman halfback from Bakersfield, California. So calling the signals is Kevin Fleming, a sophomore from Tyrone, Pennsylvania. Hand off and nothing there as Mike Golick greets the ball carrier. Ball carrier is Mike Houlihan. Goal post coming down as the Air Force Academy Falcons have upset the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame here at Falcon Stadium. A final score, Air Force leading Notre Dame by a score of 30 
to 17. A very impressive win for Ken Hatfield and his Air Force Academy Falcons. Directed by Marty Laupin, the junior quarterback from Eugene, Oregon, who scored two touchdowns and was the leading rusher along with John Kirshner for Air Force. The wish going to very effective. That's the end of the game with the final score, Air Force 30, Notre Dame 17. Listen. Blue Television Network. From Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama, welcome to the 1982 Hall of Fame Bowl. Today, featuring the Vanderbilt Commodores against the Falcons of the United States Air Force Academy. This afternoon's Hall of Fame Bowl telecast is brought to you by the makers of Toyota cars and trucks, who remind you that it's a good feeling to buckle up for safety, so get the feeling whenever you drive. By Mattel Electronics, the makers of Intellivision.